All right, hello everyone. Um, recently I received my Link Click official art book. I got this from Billy Billy, and um, I know a lot of the Link Click fandom overseas at least probably won't be able to get their hands on the art book, so I thought I'd share the contents of it. Um, I've already opened this before, but I just oh merch slip. <laughs> But I just wanted to share with everyone who might not have the money to buy or like, you know, the merch isn't exactly very accessible to fans overseas. Also, if there's any buzzing you hear, that's just like something in the house, I guess. And if you hear coughing, that's my roommate. And um, so I took this out of the original like slip that I came with. Holographic, ooh. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I really like the cover because it's very um, colorful. Wow, <laughs> I could've worded that better. Um, but this is the like film merchandise that it comes with. It's like the um, first season opening of them doing like the finger tutting dance, I think. That's pretty cool. It is very tiny though. I guess you could use it as like a really long bookmark or something. Um, and this one is pretty cool. It's like a thermal like postcard. This is the back. But um, let me just... Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. Um, you get the idea. Once the full thing is like warmed up, you can see Lu Guang. <laughs> um, and this is like a drawing that's been printed on from like the original creator, I guess. Um, and here we have the main cast. Table of contents. Oh, sorry, this is out of the frame. Um, this part is really cool, it's kind of like, you know, a police, like, bulletin board, or like, conspiracy board type of. And I like this detail, it looks like, um, a warning label, I guess. Here's some screenshots from the show. And um, we're gonna start with our boy, Chen Xiaoshi. I really like the, um, character sheets, because I don't know, art kid brain, I guess. We have some chibi versions, and then this is his like season two look, I guess, because before he had the um, yellow and blue jacket. Yep, this is season one, Chen Xiaoshi. It has different expressions as well. Oh, and here, this is him in his childhood, youth, and like, um, I guess this says his youth. This is like in childhood, and this is university him. This is him in a dress shirt, looking slay. And then this is <laughs> the um, in-game character of him. Then we have Lu Guang. <laughs> I can't get over their freaking English names. <laughs> um, yeah, here's the chibi versions, and then the full body version. I feel like we never get to see Lu Guang like angry, so this is fun to look at. Some of his like electronics, I guess. More expressions. Fashion. This is in university and also him in dress shirt. His pajamas and this is his in-game um, character. And then Chao Ling. I think this the whole like fit looks super good. I really love it. Um, Chibis again. And then I also just really like this outfit. I think I just like her fashion in general. Um, and there's her bunny phone. Very iconic. This is her in her childhood. Uh, her when she was young, and like, this is her um, exercise fit. And then summer outfit, um, pajamas, 
and in-game character. Oh, and here's some like planning for the um, actual like store slash place they live in. The um, photography shop. I think these are some of like the earlier versions of what it could look like. And these are obviously like the final. And the inside of the shop, um, like the living room. And this is like the, uh, I guess when you first enter the shop. Oh, and here's like a map. And like, can I just say they have like such a big fucking washroom. Like wh there's nothing here. It's so empty looking. This is um the front part of the store. And then this is like the back where they do all their like time travel stuff. And then this is the staircase to go up. Oh, and this is the dark room for like all their photography thingies. Some backgrounds. Oh, this is like the sky during the nighttime. This is the um dark room. Is that what it's called? Well, that's what it says in Chinese at least. While well, I'm translating literally. Um and this is the second floor of where they live. Um, I think the staircase comes up here. And then this is like some like middle hallway area. And then there are bunk beds. Apparently, there's another floor. Like, the staircase goes even more up. Oh, and this says, um, north. And this says south. Very pretty renders of their bedroom. Oh, Emma. Our girl Emma. It's her in her out- up office outfit. I think we only ever see her in her office outfit. Well, other than in her like childhood and what this is what she usually wears. And then this is Emma's mom. Like, um, I guess in the present and this is what she looked like when she was younger in like the egg rolls flashback or spring rolls, my bad. And this is her dad. And then this is what he looked like when he was younger. This gross CEO. Ew. And then this is the CEO's um, wife. Yeah. I, I don't remember her, but she's some like assistant, I guess. And then I guess this is some like rough sketches for what the scenes would look like during the show. Also, this is the layout of the um, office that she works at. I don't know why the CEO's office is like in the middle of everything. It looks very weird, but whatever. I've never worked in business. And then some backgrounds again. Oh, and this is where Emma lives. Back at her um, rented apartment and wherever. And this is in her flashback, or the dream, I guess. Um, and then this is what her room looks like, all messed up. And this is what it looks like when it's cleaner. Actually, it might be difficult to see. There we go. And other angles of the room. Oh, this is with the light on and light off. Um, I think, yeah, this is going into the second episode of the first season. The lesbian noodle ladies we stand. Uh, Is that Ling Jin? I don't know how to read that, or the second character. Anyway, this is what she looks like when she was 23, and then 18, and then 43, and then this was her, like, at the very end of the episode, in the present. I also don't know how to read that character, but something, yeah. Um, when she was 23, 18, and then the older version, 43, and her in different outfits. Ooh, and then we have some layouts, backgrounds of the noodle shop that they collaborated on before when they were younger. I should learn to draw like this. And there's some line art of it too. 
Oh wait, this is their um, dorms and university, actually. Ooh. And then here is the cafe where the lady was meeting Chao Ling for the first time. And this is their um, hometown in a rural area. Um, and then this is the basketball, a Kuroko no basket episode. Um, this is the dude that went to them for help and then his um, high school version. This is the version when uh, Chen Xiaoshi is in his body. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, they just put like a childhood version of himself, it's just like this one. I don't think his childhood self ever shows up, or maybe he does, I forgot. And um, this is the team captain for his team, and then the other players. They did like a whole like team, like damn. Um, it's an evil looking opponent team captain, and then their teammates. Um, I think this is the opposite teams, like subs, subins for the uh, basketball team, and then their cheerleading team. I think this was the teacher that was like helping uh, this green team. <clears throat> this is apparently the um, scorekeeper. Don't remember him that much. They even did a character turnaround. <laughs> wow. Um, and then this is the girl that the main character of that episode liked. And then that dude's dad, the reporter, and his mom. Oh, this is like the abandoned factory basketball court layouts. And then... Oh wait, this is Chen Xiaoshi and Lu Guang when they first met in their basketball court in their university. And some more layouts of the settings that were used. Oh my god, I keep bumping into the thing. Very pretty. This is so much line work. Oh, and this is like the extras episode, I guess. The one about the martial arts dude. And then the girl he liked. I mean, eventually they got together. It's just when they were extremely old. <laughs> Honestly, that episode kind of made me cry. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and the very like stubborn dad. Some more backgrounds. These are very pretty. And then we have- oh no, I, this episode was so sad, but I mean at least it had like a happy ending. This is the kid- oh my god. This is the kid in that episode and the evil, evil lady. This is the dad and the mom. Oh, and our disheveled detective man and his- not assistant, I don't know, guy that works under him. I didn't know he was 180, that's actually really tall. And then the boba shop, the line work. Oh, another line work drawing of um, what the parent, where the parents were renting out after the incident happened. This is the uh, police station. Oh, and then on to Chao Ling's friend story. This is her, Xu Shan Shan. And this is the dude that she liked. Um, her uni dorms room. And then their campus. Oh, and this is the KTV. It's what Chinese people call karaoke, KTV. Um, and then her room currently in the present. Oh, and then the episode where the big baddie of season one shows up. 
him in his freaking Adidas hoodie. And then the creepy mask. And this is him in his wheelchair and him dressed fancy. This is his dad, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's his dad. Um, and this is some, um, I guess like renders of scenes before they were like uh, properly officially drawn. I'm sure there's like proper terms for it. I just not sure what they are. I think this was the last episode. Oh no, this is Emma after she got hurt. And the, <laughs> this is so sad, it says the other victims. And there's also a puppy here. Um, more layout backgrounds. Oh, this is like stuff that was in the photos used in the last episode. Oh, and then the chibi, something more lighthearted. The main cast as chibis, and then in the extras they have their like animal form, dog, cat, and rabbit. I think the extras were really cute. And I guess more shots of the um, photography store. Oh, I think these- oh, this is like the opening with the lyrics. This would be crazy if they like hand drew this, but I feel like they could also use like- I don't know actually. Maybe it was hand drawn, but maybe it was also like computer- like generated? I mean, they can definitely use like a symmetry tool for this, but well, I don't know, but it's very pretty. And then these are all drawings from the first season opening. This is like crazy. They could have used a 3D model for this actually, and then just like added some hand-drawn parts, like the top of that building. <laughs> this hand is so well drawn, oh my god. And then more from the opening. The finger tutting dance. Or is it just called finger tutting? Would finger tutting dance be redundant? This is the ending song. Honestly, the music in Link Click slaps so hard. And I think this is from the season two opening. They must have started working on the art book like while also working on season two. Uh, more frames. And um, this is kind of spoilery for season one, I guess. Oh, and I think we're almost done looking at the original drawn frames for the animation. And then these are like um, drawings, I guess they did for various, either like promotional or maybe like merchandise. Oh, I actually bought like, not blind box, but like blind package cards for um, Link Click. I have a lot, I'll show them after the video, but um, I actually got a card and this is the art for it. And look, it's so pretty. It's like holographic and stuff. I really like it. Okay, next section of the book. Oh, iconic. Okay, we've seen this too. I also have a standee of this. Yeah. It's also kind of- well, I don't- I think it's holographic, like iridescent? I don't know. Um, and then we have more like posters. Oh, these are like celebrating how many fans they've gotten for the series. 
Oh, I also have this poster on my door. I'm not gonna take it off to show it, but I really like this whole like street fashion type of um, poster. And then more poster stuff. I really like this one too. It's like the angel and devil concept. Oh, and yeah, they have like the official, I guess, full body of the design. I guess they also made plushies of it. And then Lu Guang's. I think it's fun that they made um the angel, but like Chen Zhao has like black feathers and Lu Guang's the devil but has like white in his design, so it's kind of like um contrasty there's a word I can't think of. Juxtaposition. There we go. Oh, and I really like this one. Um, this is like what the finished art looks like. It's like them in a rock band. I love that. And um, this is like a previous sketch that wasn't used, but I still really like it too. They call it sketch, but it <laughs> looks really good already. Um, more chibi art. Oh, and this is like the same one as the uh, thermal postcard. Blowing bubbles. I really like this one. It gives like mafia vibes. I think they use this as the cover for um, season two. And then they're like school uniform series, I guess. Oh, this one's really nice too. I like the uniforms that they're wearing. But, oh, this is also like the chibi version of that. And I really like this type of style because it almost looks like it looks like iconic old American, like very like blocky black shading, I guess. I'm very glad I got Chelling's card, but I wish I could have gotten all three of them. But you know, it's like a blind box type of thing, so it's not guaranteed. Mid Autumn Festival poster. Ooh, these are really cool. I th yeah, this was like a Halloween thing they did apparently. Um, their designs for their outfits, and then this flips open. I really love this. Like, I wish I had this as a poster. Obviously, I'm not gonna take it out of the art book, but the rendering in this, mwah, gorgeous. Like, look at how detailed this is. Oh, I just realized they have the mask there. Okay, little Easter eggs, I guess. Chowling in the corner, Chen Zhao Shi. The coloring is so beautiful. I wish I could draw like this. Oh my god, this ah, He looks so good. Like look look at look at those shoes. Look at the great Oh my god. And then Chelling here also looks really good. But I feel like it printed kind of dark here because or maybe it's just because in the card there's like the red around it to make it look less dark in general, but this card is also really cool. It has like that shine. Oh, you can see my ring light. And like the gold on the edges are really cool. Again, I'll show all the cards briefly after. Oh, them playing Mahjong for Year of the Tiger. I guess like this is a POV, I think. We're winning. I don't know. I don't really play Mahjong. And then I think these were for their like... Maybe it's for their birthday post? I don't know, but I really like that they play with their sense of fashion in these. This one's so good. And then chibi versions. I think... What is this for? Duanbu. I forgot the English for this like festival, but the one where you eat the zongzi, like the rice wrapped in like banana leaves or something. Oh, and this one is so. Ah, it's like them in their like hanfu outfits. I guess not outfits, it's just like hanfu. I think this was like a collab or some like event thing that they did. Oh, and this is like the poster for the next page, but this is so good. Like, it's so pretty. I don't know what else to say. Man. Oh, 
And then the next page is also like a Halloween theme, I guess for like a different year. I'm not sure what exactly the vibe is, like detective maybe, but like this is also giving like Attack on Titan vibes and this is giving detective, I don't know, explorer or like little hotel door opener. <laughs> anyway, I still like it though, but I think this one, this series, well, I guess I just like Lu Guan's outfit here a lot. Um, it says here that these were like sketch ideas that weren't used for the final art. But like, um, why do I feel like this artist has a favorite? Because Lu Guan's looks really good and like, this one's like okay, I guess. But they're still cute. Oh, and then more character theme art. The colors they use are so pretty. It's like pastel, but also like saturated at the same time. I don't know how that would work, but it works. And Lu Guang's upside down. I don't know if this, this is like foreshortening or some, not for, what am I talking, for, <laughs> foreshadowing. Oh, and free talk. I'm not gonna like actually read through this, but this is just like an interview with the um director of Link Click. This is a really good sketch, but also like this pose is very um yes. Um also the shoes are really nicely drawn. And I think this is like the head of um, character design and they're Korean, I didn't know that, but I think that's pretty cool. And this Japanese artist is like the art director, I think. So that's pretty cool. They have like a Chinese translation of what they're saying here. Oh, I like this one because it's like a parody of The Shining, except the creepy twins are Lu Guang and Chen Xiaoshi. Oh, this says, thank you everyone for liking Link Click. And then, sketch of Lu Guang here. Oh, I guess I can translate this one. Um, Chen Xiaoshi is like, Lu Guang, can you see what they're doing? And then Lu Guang's like, I think they're making season 2. Which is true, because season 2, season 2 just concluded, and um, it's a cliffhanger, so I guess we're getting a season 3. And then here's some Chaoling sketches. I think this one is super cool. Like, she has like a bunch of like chains and like earrings, sunglasses, lollipop. Honestly, if she like showed up like this in one episode, I would not complain. I think this is like color design artist. Oh, and this is a really cute Chaoling drawing. Oh my god, this this artist went hard for this sketch. <laughs> and then Chaoling drawing. I think this is like supposed to be viewers who are like keep telling them to hurry up with season two. And she's like being very aggressive about it. It's like, you know, are you gonna keep asking her? Huh? And she yeah. Summary type of vibe. And then more sketches of the three. Oh, like Lu Guang and I almost said Chao Ling again. Lu Guang and Chen Xiao Shi, but as like cards, I guess. And then this one's really cool. She's kind of like a demon or some creature with horns. Oh, it says, I hope season two is a big success. Oh, this is really cool. It's like Chao Ling as like a warrior or something. Another sketch. <laughs> I don't know what's up with this one, but I think it's really funny. Um, this might be like the general direct. I don't. I don't even know what is general something. But I guess they like had fun with this, and I think this is like the merch team.
Oh, this is fun. It's like link click, but like the Chinese fans call it like Shiguang Dai Dao Ren, cause spoilers, she has a knife. Then more writing. And I think we're almost done the book. Yeah, that's the end of the art book. And this is what it says on the on what it has on the back. Made by Billy Billy. And since I did go back to China recently, I was lucky enough to be able to find Link Click merch relatively easily. Like well not super easily, but like if you go to the right store, they'll like have it. This is like a glitter shaker thingy. I really like their outfits in this. They're like kind of fancy royalty vibe. I guess it covers up the background, but there's like a chandelier and like big staircase in the back and stuff. And um, I guess it's time to show you the cards. Okay, so these are the character specific cards. Like it's just the one character. Um, we got Lu Guang, Chen Yaoshi, and Qiao Ling. I think this one is like or like all of the ones that are holographic are really cool because they have like different grades of the cards it feels like freaking gotcha like r or ssr or like a b whatever i also accidentally thought this was supposed to be peeled so i start peeling it and then i realized nope that's the holographic layer so i stopped peeling it but it's fine as long as i don't touch it it's 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 okay um chibi one and like some of the special ones are like holographic but I think like the clear cards are also really cool as you can see I got some repeats oh and this is like a QR level card oh this card was like hidden under another card but it's like the iconic cover one and these are the other cards that I've gotten I think they're like mostly screenshots from the show though um, I don't know, maybe I'll sell them if I want to. And also, like, some of the main character cards, I do have repeats, so maybe I will decide to do that. Um, also, can I just say, like, this SSR card is, like, the ugliest card ever. Like, why would you even put this as, like, <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, and I think the most unfortunate one is, like, this you're supposed to get four so you like form like a bigger version of the cards but i literally only got like the two ver the, the version with like the two legs so i don't even get their faces so at least with the face i can be like oh at least like i can see them but like this is just their legs and it's incomplete so yeah i also did get the special prizes for these sets of like blind box cards. I got this pin of Lu Guang, also holographic. It's a very big pin actually. And then this like special Chen Xiaoshi card, also holographic. Um, I didn't even want to take it out of the package so I'm just gonna keep it in there. And then I also got these like, well it says post meridium. It sounds very fancy but it's kind of like a cafe theme and then you have like tickets of each character they're also holographic wow i'm starting to see a theme but these are like very high quality and there's like a shine to it as well and these are like very sturdy and thick and this is the back also holographic wow this reminds me of like cds when you would like flip them over yeah remember when cds was a thing i am showing my age i say that but i'm not even that old i feel like the old people like floppy disks now i'm showing my age anyway very cool and then this is not link click obviously but you know if you watch link click you probably watch heaven's official blessing this was just casually at like a lawson's like they apparently have those in China. It's like a convenience store. I'm pretty sure it's from Japan. And like, they just had these like collab like cookies and they come with like different 16 different bookmarks, but you don't know which one you're gonna get. 
So I bought myself one and bought one for my friend. And then this is the bookmark that I got. Also holographic. Wow, would you look at that? I don't even read books that often, but you know, I will be using this because it's very pretty. And honestly, even just the box is like really nice. So I guess that's the good thing about going back to China. You can find merch much easier than in the West in North America. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope that I've decently shown what's in the contents, what the contents of the art book is in case you're not able to personally get the book yourself or maybe you don't have the money to because we all know shipping is hella expensive for anything that's like overseas. But yeah, thank you for watching and I mainly do a lot of art videos on my YouTube channel and also some fun art challenges so check it out, feel free to subscribe, but uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.